and is still capable of running Windows. As you can see on the screen, you have Windows and a couple of applications, including a funny animation. Well, hardly funny, but yeah, it's an animation. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, you know, exactly, you know, what happens here? How, what, what powers it, and, and, and how low can the power go? Extremely low. In fact, the processor consumes so little power that we here have it running up this small solar cell, and which is only about the size of a postage stamp. So, Solar-powered computing. Exactly, yeah. That's fabulous. What happens if we cut off the light source? Oh, that wouldn't be too good. But what I'm going to do is, let's see what happens, you know. <laughs> let's see what happens as I try to cover this. Watch the animation. I'm slowly going to shut off the light to the solar cell. And here it goes. Oh. And it froze up the system. That's right. I mean, yeah. We killed the cat. Oh. <laughs> we sure did. Sorry about that. <laughs> And it is just a quick glimpse as to where we intend to take our near threshold voltage technology. And on Thursday, you're going to see Justin delve into this technology a lot more deeper and highlight this and describe it. That's fantastic. Thanks, Sri Ramana. You're welcome.